Dangerous storms knocked out electricity to entire neighborhoods and heavy rains bring down a 100-year-old tree damaging buildings. The thunderstorms had powerful lightning with one witness standing dangerously close. News 13's Kimberly King is live tonight. Kim, is that woman all right? Darcel, she is, but she had a major scare. She was going out to get the mail at her mailbox just down the driveway when a lightning bolt blew out a tree right across the street. And that tree over there, it just exploded into pieces. This is what's left of a huge tree in Henderson County that took a direct hit by lightning. Shards of wood look more like huge toothpicks left from the power of the single bolt. I was running, believe me. I'm surprised I even opened that door because I ran inside as fast as I could. Karen Stanzak was at the end of her drive getting her mail. She clearly recalls the weather conditions right before the strike. You can see where it was starting to cloud up a little bit, but the sun was shining when that electricity hit. That's how hard it hit. The heat appears to have skinned the tree of its bark. Powers out to neighbors with lines underground, crews on scene to repair. All day long, isolated storms pelted drivers across western North Carolina. Heavy downpours inevitably making driving treacherous, but these last few weeks, commuters have had no choice. In Rutherford County... We had been out to eat supper and a neighbor called and said our tree had fell on, uh, onto his property. This 100-year-old pecan tree stood tall in Matt Arrowhead's front yard. No more. Matt says he got the call from his neighbor about 5.43. He says that this tree had been leaning on its side, but the rain today was just too much. The tree fell on two aluminum storage buildings belonging to his neighbor. Matt tonight is feeling nostalgic. We'll miss our tree. Uh, this tree is over 100 years old. It's a beautiful pecan tree. We get a lot of good pecans off of it every year. Ready for the rain to be over. Right. As for Karen, she says today's lightning scare taught her a lesson. Don't let the skies fool you. You never know, you know. Crazy storms is all I can say. We drove around much of western North Carolina today looking for damage and into the night we saw some heavy downpours and very isolated spots with that damage that you saw. These were isolated pockets with uh, severe thunderstorms which could be likely once again as the days continue. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Kimberly King, News 13.